Welcome to Lightspeed. Your hardware bundle contains everything you need to ignite your business, and setting up is easy. Inside your Lightspeed box, you'll find six boxes with five components. You received an iPad that has been pre-installed in its stand for you, a receipt printer, and rolls of receipt paper, a cash drawer, and a barcode scanner. You also received an empty iPad box. Now let's connect it all together. If you haven't already done so, you need to connect your iPad to your Wi-Fi network to access the App Store and sign into your Lightspeed account. To connect your iPad to your Wi-Fi network, first open Settings. Then select Wi-Fi. Choose your network from the list. Finally, enter your password and select Join. Your Wi-Fi network will now be listed under the Wi-Fi switch and show a check mark to the left of it. You'll also see the signal strength of your network at the top of the screen. You'll need to sign into your iPad using your Apple ID. Tap Sign In to your iPad. Enter your Apple ID credentials or tap don't have an Apple ID and follow the on-screen instructions to create one. Once you've successfully signed in, you will see your Apple ID details under Settings. From here, it's quick and easy to install Lightspeed Retail. Simply select Install on the home screen. This takes you directly to the Retail POS app in the App Store. Tap Get and sign in with your Apple ID. If you're using your new Apple ID in the App Store for the first time, tap Review and follow Apple's on-screen instructions to complete the setup of your Apple ID. This may reset the App Store to its welcome screen. If it does, simply return to the iPad's home screen and tap Install again. Once returned to the Retail POS page in the App Store, tap Get, then Install. Enter your Apple ID password and tap Sign In. The Retail POS app will now start installing on your iPad. Once the installation is complete, you'll be ready to sign into your Lightspeed. To sign in to Lightspeed, launch the Retail POS app and tap Sign In. You will be asked for your username and password. If you don't have your username and password, check your inbox for your Lightspeed welcome email. If you've already set up your username but forgotten your password, you can reset it from this screen. Then enter your username and password and tap Sign In. After that, select a register. Then select Done. You're now signed in. To connect your receipt printer, you need the AC adapter, the AC cable, the lightning to USB cable, and a roll of receipt paper. Remove the back and bottom covers of your printer. Connect the USB end of the lightning to USB cable to your printer and connect the lightning end of the cable to your iPad. Connect the AC cable to your receipt printer and the other end of the AC cable to the AC adapter. Connect the AC adapter to an electrical outlet. Then reattach the bottom and back covers to your printer. Now turn your printer on. When the LED lights stop blinking and become solid, your printer is ready. Your printer will also keep your iPad charged throughout your business day. Once the printer is connected, insert the paper roll in the orientation shown. Make sure the paper roll stays taut and doesn't unroll. Then pull the paper out past the cutter at the front of the printer and push the cover down to snap it shut. Finally, add the printer to your light speed setup. On the profile screen, under Devices, select Receipt Printer. Select Add Printer. Under Printers on your network, select your receipt printer. It may take a few seconds for it to appear. You can also enable the Automatically Print Receipt switch if you want receipts to print automatically when you complete a sale. Then select Done. Your receipt printer will now display as connected on the profile screen. If you're planning to open your cash drawer manually, simply set it on your checkout counter and use its key to either lock it or open it. If you want your cash drawer to open automatically when you complete a sale, you need to connect your cash drawer to your receipt printer with the provided cable. Its mechanism is printer-driven. 
To connect your cash drawer to your receipt printer, you'll need the cash drawer cable, the cash drawer key. First, connect the larger end of the cable to the port underneath your cash drawer. Then, connect the smaller end of the cable to the cash drawer port underneath your receipt printer. You may need to remove the back and bottom covers of your receipt printer to access the port. Finally, just make sure your cash drawer is unlocked. It will open automatically whenever you print a receipt. Your barcode scanner is already paired with your iPad. All you need to do is turn on the barcode scanner and open your Lightspeed account. Your barcode scanner will now display as connected on the profile screen. Before using the barcode scanner in your store for the first time, we recommend fully charging its battery. You can connect your barcode scanner's charging pad to a USB port on your receipt printer or to a USB power adapter plugged into an outlet. Then rest the barcode scanner on the charging pad. Once your scanner is fully charged, its LED lights will go from amber to green. Now that you've connected your hardware, let's make a sale to make sure your system is working as it should. If the register is closed, tap Open Register. Then choose Done. For now, we'll open our register without a starting balance. Now, on your iPad, tap New Sale. Scan an item that you have in your inventory. If you don't have any items in your inventory, create one now. To do so, tap the plus sign and then Create New Item. Then, enter a default price and cost. Scan the item's barcode into one of the ID fields and tap Create. To be sure that your barcode scanner is working, scan the item again after creating it. Then, tap Cash. Tap Done. If you didn't set receipts to print automatically, tap Print Receipt. Your printer will print a receipt and your cash drawer will open automatically if you choose to connect the cash drawer table. You can make a sale to test your system at the start of each business day. Void any test transactions after the fact. Your hardware is now fully set up for business. If you have any questions and would like to learn more, check out our Help Center for more information and videos.